What is this? Is that a Morgan James rifle? Is this... Yes, we're playing the game, the history and... and legacy of the Morgan James rifle. No, we aren't. You're playing... Welcome to Let's Play Darkest of Days. A game made by, um... I don't know, because the game actually doesn't have any opening credits. Let's go to the settings. Difficulty. No, easy, normal, or with chest hair. Yeah, chest hair is gross. We aren't going to do that, though I have beaten the game with that. We're going to have subtitles on so you can understand what they're saying over my nonsense babble. Crosshair, where that one's fine. Blue, the color of manliness. Now this is a first-person shooter, a very underrated first-person shooter that was poorly designed but had a great idea. It was very it was a shame they have never made a sequel for this. I would really like to see a sequel. I'm pretty sure some of you are getting angry at me because I keep babbling on when, and I haven't even started the game yet. But who cares? Uh, this uh, this is for entertainment, not for walkthrough. If you want a walkthrough, watch a walkthrough of this. Game. I see. Anyway, let's start. Yes, I lost. Moving robe woman. Did they strip her? God. So what's this game about? Well, you well you see, we're at Little Bighorn. So apparently, this is going to be a game about the Indians of the and what they did after Little Bighorn, isn't it? I don't. Know. Well, let's see. Ooh. Okay, that man couldn't have died instantly. It shot him in the rear. There are no vital organs in the rear. Or are there? Oh, and here's a swarm of Indians. Dear God, there are a lot of them. I didn't think there were that many. Oh, I've been shot and I died. Dumb glitches. Oh, wait. I'm alive. Morris! You are right. And that's us, Alexander Morris. Well, not those two. I'm the one looking at them. Engines, all over the place. Engines, spell engine. I and D. Wait, you're spelling Indian. Oh, I thought you meant my cowboys and engine. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. Blue collar TV was nowhere as good as Matt. And anyway, we can sprint very fast. This man hauls ass when he's running. Open there, are some dead horses. And there is General Custer. This actually isn't the first game I played with him in it. The first one I played with him in it was a. Uh, Duke Nukem Zero Hour, a much better game. And for some reason, this Colt revolver can break open, which they were unable to do it, to my knowledge. God, I'm ba it, it's also barely hitting. Can I have one of those Henry rifles? Uh, apparently not, because they disintegrate into the ground when they die. Where you think you're going? He was five feet in front of me in the bullet nest. It's Pocahontas. Let us send her to meet John Smith. How did the Indians get all these horses and saddles? Where did they get, were they playing Minecraft? Did they just breed, grab them off the fields and make saddles out of leather? Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm apparently... I was apparently either shot in the groin and I'm sitting down, or I was buried waist deep, and this is a severed lower torso I'm s s buried in front of. <sighs> Game has some good smoke. Why can't I do a wheel? Oh, General Custer, you were the best of us all. You're the best around! Nothing's gonna ever knock you down! Oh, wait. Ah, take those down. Ow! Oh, a horse gun. Didn't they have gatling guns at this point in history? Why didn't they bring some of those? Yes, we were- oh, that was the last cavalry. Oh no, General Custer, no! You have a wife and 15 kids, no, don't die! Ah, what the- oh my god! 
Who are you? Oh, thank you. Oh, oh never mind. You're dead. Oh, that man took a bullet to the head and he's still alive. Oh, get your hands off me. Oh, God. What kind of abomination is this? Ah! Dr. Cole's law. Who the hell is Dr. Cole? And who's mother? And what's chronotech? Oh, man, Morris doesn't understand any of this. He's probably pissing his non exit his either arrowed legs or his regular legs that were buried next to severed legs. And EFX. Uh, I think that's who in this game. I'm not sure. Eight Monkey Labs. I haven't seen much in many other works from them. They must have Darkest of Days! The day when Anastasia, the animated film, came out. No! Uh, uh. Ah! Morris is probably pissing himself so bad right now. Look at this. If you were a Civil War whatever guy he, like him, he would be terrified. And judging by that scanner, if my legs were in fact uh, shot by an arrow, they must have given me new ones because I've been lost. Alexander Morris. Uh, what is that unholy abomination in front of me? So I may tell you about your future in service of history. Uh, I'd prefer not to. Uh, I'm gonna... Alright, I'm better do what she says before she kills me. You are in the future from your perspective. Around 300 years or so, if you're curious. We are Chronotech, and through the research... Why does Chronotech have a capital A? Dr. Ranier Cole, we have made time travel not only possible, but practical. It's a recent innovation. Dr. Cole... And for some reason, Morris has a piece of paper now. And we are very careful. It's apparently supposedly the map of the complex, which consists of apparently only like three buildings. The mysteries alone we've solved. And also the Chronotech Your text is scrolling a bit fast, Monk Eight Monkey Labs. Another team discovered why the Mayan civilization disappeared. We've discovered and learned so much. But with the power of time travel comes the responsibility of Why do you have three eye piercings? That doesn't seem very professional. It's one of the reasons we call him the father of time. He knew changing history would be dangerous. That's Dr. Cole for some reason. Together, the goals Entity. of discovery and protecting the history darn it. from the prime objective the of Chronotech. Keeping that in mind, there have been some very disquieting developments. First, Dr. Cole... This text scrolls very fast. I fear the very father of time... Now, I'm sorry if you can't see the text there. ...some time out there. You can't see it. We are identifying certain historical events out of place and certain people being put suddenly in harm's way. We discover new anomalies... Oh, why can't you put Hitler in harm's way? Why not teleport him to Little Bighorn and he would get savagely mauled by Indians? Or Obama? A strong hunch they're related somehow. That's where you come in, Alexander Morris. I... You will be sent to different places in their times of great strife and change. Charged with saving those people facing an untimely... No, I'm not. I'm out of here. You are the perfect candidate to help our cause, and I'm, no, sure I'm not. I'd like to show your gratitude for being rescued from certain death. No, I don't. I wanted to, to die. Have some I'm homeless. The answers, step into the portal and meet the man who will help you along in your quests. Agent Dexter. Dexter? From Dexter's laboratory? Did he finally kill Dee Dee? Did he assist with the development? I ain't out of here. So yes, apparently a man from uh, the 1800s is the most qualified for time travel missions. And where are we now? Ugh. I guess you're the. You're not Dexter. Huh. This is a ripoff. You got some work to do, and I think you should start with some weapons training. Things but I already know how to use firearms. And how are you rotating on that? Are you standing on a disc? And Morris doesn't even know what the heck these are. He's like, what is this? What kind of revolver is this? And for some reason, this uh, one, this uh, this model of the C96 is fully automatic, and despite despite the fact this model this was based on. Uh, some helmets. Well done. 
And this uses the Gears of War reload mechanic. If you pre reload when that little indicator is in that indicator, it, it jams up and it takes even longer. Yes, but apparently he is impervious to bullets. Oh, and the Who thought that would be a good reload system? That is not a good reload system. You can zoom in a bit with the weapon's sights and get a more accurate shot. Okay, let's use uh, the next weapon. A Nagant! Not the motion, Nagant! That's the Nagant! Alright. I just did, you moron. But I want to win a big stuff bunny, Dexter. You're rude. Super sprint! And Morris doesn't even know what these are. He thinks they're probably caramel apples. Morris, no, those are... And he blues blows up. Oh my god, my spot rib cage! Yeah. Yes, I would gladly toss a few more. What about you? Can I throw grenades at you? <laughs> Alright, son. I think you figured out them grenades. <laughs> Burn, Dexter! <laughs> Yeah, Dexter is very hard to kill. Checked out on the big guns. Oh, here's a weapon Morris is actually familiar with, I think. Boom, and I killed half the German army. It's especially hard if the wheels don't move. Well, that, did you see how that man in the front was just not phased? Hurry up and get Let's through. Let's get this. you checked out on the map system. Bring up your. Map oh, I'm frozen in time. Dex, damn it, Dexter, you bastard! Yeah. The circles are your objectives. Oh, now he's telling. Enemy me. locations, when we know where they are, are marked in red. The lighting effects for the map, right? You need look. Ooh. Yeah, we can stare at Dexter's dead, cold, dead eyes and his stupid Texan. Oh, great. All, like what? There are certain people that need to survive. They'll be surrounded by a blue aura. If you How do I see the blue the aura? They never explain this. That brings all sorts of unwanted attention. <sighs> can I just jump off this platform and run away into those planes over there? Just don't kill them. Got the blue aura enemies. A new experimental weapon called Chasers. Well, that was a corny little gremlins. Then, taking them out of the battle while keeping them alive. Be careful with these. You gotta be with. Yeah, oh, forget me. I, I decided to start with this. the rest as we go, but just remember. There's not much to say about it. Guys with blue auras. I'm gonna try to keep you from making the big stupid, but the rest is on you. Stay in line, follow officer's <clears throat> orders, and keep your head down. Get ready for war, son. Oh dear, Morris is, has no idea. Welcome back, Morris. Dexter, I'm assuming your training session went well? Yes, ma'am. I ran his rear through the gear, and he seems to be gripping gravel. Very well. You ran my rear through the gear. All you did was tell me how to shoot some guns. That's it. I've isolated two individuals <sighs> in immediate danger. Joseph. We we never get behind into this room. By the way, we never ever see inside this room. What mysteries lay behind it? Is there a candy store? Is it? I don't know. Some animated world like in Rockadoodle. Rockadoodle. Chanticleer! Chanticleer! We do get to see the behind this door at the end of the sort of. Anyway, she's talking about these two the guys. The repercussions could be far-reaching. 
rescue them from their current crisis and our reintegration team and she's only sending me and dexter i don't know why she can't just send a whole squad of elite agents yes ma'am i've prepared to rescue these men loaded them to the and my recording is now over 15 minutes and i'm hoping youtube will accept this because i'm not sure if they it'll let me over well you got a choice to make where are we going Yes, well, uh, well, that'll be for next time, because, well, you've seen the basics of this game. We're just kind of blah, blah, blah. This is my very first Let's Play, so it's probably not going to be good. But anyway, you know, uh, you know the big easy blah, blah, blah. You know.